Um, live from Buenos Aires. Yeah. The idea of this is that basically I will just practice um, with my lovely new bar here in the back over there. Um, and then I will also talk a little bit about what's going on in my head. I have planned to try an experiment of mine, which is to practice um, with some red points signaling which parts, um, which parts I want to work on. <laughs> Move it in a block so this whole thing goes or this whole thing goes. So I actually want to think about keeping these points still and trying to move every everything else. Does that make any sense? So like as if, you know, this, this is like a, a structure here, I'm trying to squeeze and, and have everything else here move around it as well. These points are fixed, but like everything else is moving. So I don't know if you can, this stays still, but then this all moves. See, so this stays still and everything else moves, as, as opposed to, you know, everything moving or, or nothing moving. Nothing moving would be like this, right? This is like, just like kind of stiff. Yeah, usually I think I dance like this. But anyways, I'm gonna try to use more action here in the hips. Okay, I tend to go like this, or actually tend to go like this. I like to think about my little toe going far away from me, far away from this point, basically here. Far away from the possible. There we go. I guess I'm at. I should be here. mentioned before when you're lifting this leg off we've just got to really make sure that nothing moves so the hips have to stay the muscles here have to be rotating around the dot is engaged that's it and it's facing the ceiling now try and do just two lifts for me so go up keep everything in and then down lifting up in the chest and go up good and down <laughs> jugaba water polo y por ganar razón usaba mucho los cuádriceps así que también como pues, si no lo pienso eh, hago todo de los cuádriceps y lo quiero aflojar eh, y un truco que empecé a pensar era eh, pensar en este punto I'm thinking about this point and this point here so the, the little toe goes this also moves so moving from there as opposed to like say this thing here, right? from here and also from that little flower and the knee. So if you're thinking about the magic point staying here, it also keeps your knees from like going all over the place. So we got about the middle toe there, so we start to go like not care, right? So the middle toe goes far away, so the far away. Open the little toe. So what was going on is like when I went up, um, she wanted my toes to be out. And then also when I'm going down, um, to have the toes stay stay firm. Otherwise, this this thing happens, right? Can you can you see this thing happens? The whole point is to have the little toe be a point of support. Duk and duk. So for this English, like this. So what I tended to do was have the little toe bend. You see this? Like have it uh, give in as it goes down. It's Relaxing the quads, so I tend to overuse the quads. And so he wanted me to just move my foot outwards, right? So in addition to moving the little toe, have this whole thing move outwards. Um, and I would do it from the quads. Right now, um, I'm using this muscle here to, to do this here, right? And then maybe I could also extend my toe. So, uh, there we go. And the left foot is always more stupid, but yeah, it's, it's, it's moving here as opposed to this whole thing here to do this, which is what I started off doing.
like my worst part here. Because usually when I'm dancing, like it, it just kind of like goes all over the place. Yeah, so there's a triangle here. And so when the Martha Graham technique does spirals, um, all the movement comes from how you how you direct the hips. Yes, whatever. So um, one point that helps me is like right here. This point here, I try to like make it um, small around the waist. If you uh, watch the other sessions, yeah, I usually have like a top that's like tied around here. Well, it's actually like um, kind of uh, cheating that I, I try to tie it there and, and try to have this, have this area be a little bit more active because it's actually kind of hard for me to find when I'm dance. I'm like wanting to um, feel the music or like where am I supposed to step in this whole area and it comes like, like all over the place. If you try dissociating from here, like kind of having the, the look at what happens with, between the three flowers, right? So I'm thinking of this point here, kind of staying in instead of like out. This is what I usually do. And then I guess it happens. Yeah. Yeah, usually when I go bend my leg, oh, this like kind of thing happens. Or like, I don't, I don't even know what I, what I, what I managed to figure out. Too. But if I'm working from here, like, I'm not as like dead. Huh. I absolutely hate it when, when people say like normal in, in like tango classes, like walk normally or or something. It's like no, I, I walk horrible in the street. Um, yeah, like I mean, like I, I basically walk like this. You know, I take small steps, but it's not how you're supposed to walk. If I'm thinking about moving stuff from the little finger, it kind of helps me keep my balance as well. Like say like, you know, instead of sometimes when we're walking, right, we're, we're, we're like falling or something, um, because the hands are dead. But if you're like kind of active and kind of knowing where your hands are, it kind of helps you keep your balance. Uh, using on the bar, like we're not really leaning on it, but it's kind of like the same sensation where you're using your little fingers, like having them just being conscious of where they are kind of helps me like unblock this whole area. You know, you don't touch the bar. Having the hands like really go out and be like, where are the little fingers, right? They're not like, like usually we're focusing them down there and something weird happens. Ooh. Well, this is like kind of like a dead area for me too. Well, it's like, wait, all the area. <laughs> I wanted to just mention one more thing that I, I like to try to do, hmm. which is connect the little fingers of the hands to the little fingers of the, t of the, the little toe, right? The, the, the hands. And so what happens when you do this? I think it creates a little bit of um, harmony in the whole body. So like, you kind of are conscious, like say, like if you're walking, what, this is really stupid. Um, but anyway, like what, what is connected? Like, well no, like connected, huh? Uh, no, um, I guess there's some sort of, yeah, connection, some sort of consciousness of what's going on between the hand and the feet, right? So I like to make an analogy, it's like you have like a leaky roof with leaks all over the place, there's like 20 million leaks and you only have one bucket at a two to catch water at a time, which I have a bucket here and so, um, you know, because you can only really fix one mistake at your time, like either your knee, your, your feet or your hands or your head and then it seems like sometimes there's leaks all over the place. But for two, two times I'm going to talk about stuff and then the third time will be uh, more like today, which is... Um, just me moving around. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, here we go. Say hello to Pumba. She goes, goodbye.
So um, today I want to talk about um, well the elbow and its relation to the rest of the body actually. So um, I feel like in my dance I block the elbows. If you look at the elbow, if you do an ocho, right, it moves closer and farther away. So if you're using the strength of pulling away, sometimes um, we would block ourselves. Like I was blocking myself on tilt. So block the elbows and I say, oh my god, I can't go down. And then when I go down, I block the elbows and then I can't go up. So really these things get closer and this thing gets farther. Elbows, they go, if you think about bending the elbows and use elbow strength here, it works well that I can't do it. Wrong? I'm not sure. Oh my god. Okay, well, so freeze up my hips a little bit, I think. Like if I would block, I'd be like this, right? But then, like what was going on in my body was this. So 
but every like imagine a tangle every time you know you need to do this uh, my axis is going over there or something if I'm conscious of like cutting that blockage there <laughs> I have a terrible problem with hips because like they, they usually are blocked so they all move as like one block and especially when I'm walking like this way I mean like things like open up like basically I cannot use this area correctly and also like I tend to lose my balance like especially on the left side she works with a line that's the same line as the column and this line like goes down straight to the ground um, and so she's like the point is like sometimes when you walk you end up moving like going from one side to the other to transfer your weight to the base leg and so like look here for example I've actually moved my weight over here and then I move my weight over here it stays here usually this happens right so if I'm thinking about this here it's like somehow it it really helps me keep my keeps my balance right and then also on this side. Yeah, so this problem doesn't happen anymore. Or like, I mean, I guess if you're lifting up the other hip, what happens a lot is this thing, right? Yeah, so this so she and this line stays straight. Uh, uh. I mean, I guess it could move a little bit, but instead of like this thing, which is what I usually do. Yeah, so. a lot I'm either like in closer brace and I step too far and then I get stuck and then something like this happens or when I bend my knees like this horrible thing happens where like this this thing happens so like this you know, just kind of find like in the middle of yourself so like so now like um you know Stella was talking more about like this if you're looking at this this straight so now we're talking about like more right so this also stays so like this shouldn't go like this or like this. I mean, I guess it could a little bit. Like, all these are like ideas to have, like, even if the legs are moving, even if your torso is moving, even if your like, torso is going in a different direction, whatever. So the, the hips stay in a, in a, in kind of like the middle position here. Da -da 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 -da, as opposed to like here or here with the hips, right? So this line goes straight down. This line kind of stays down. El que empieza a bailar tango y lo baila con amor, no deja nunca de bailar un tango. Jamás en la vida. ¿Sabes por qué? Porque es algo que te transporta. So that really got me thinking, you know, like what, um, how, how tango can be so life changing. And it certainly has been um, life changing for me. And it's, it's uh, really put me on a journey that I really um, did not expect, you know. And it kind of struck me how far I've become on this how far, how far along I've come along in, in this journey. Um, when I started going to, um, a couple, I decided to try out a session of um, Respiración Evolutiva with um, Elsa. And I always liked the way she moves, like she has a certain harmony about her. So I said, you know, this girl must be onto something. So when I saw on her Facebook that she's giving sessions of um, osteopathy and um, evolutionary respiration, I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. I mean, this is completely something that I would have laughed at before, you know, I also mentioned it to Elsa, Elsa that, you know, when I was younger, um, my friend, um, had a, her, her mother was a physical therapist, and I, had a, I used to get a lot of headaches back here. And then so she told me to lie down, and she would kind of treat it with her hands. And um, me being so divorced from my body, and all this mumbo-jumbo massage, like, I don't know, it, spiritual therapy whatever all that was all just 
uh, something that didn't really exist for me, I actually laughed at the idea. And so it, it makes, um, it kind of, it makes me laugh a little bit. To, uh, it made me laugh a little bit the other day. It's like, wow, I'm gonna try a, a technique called evolutionary respiration when, like, I mean, 10 years ago, I, I laugh in the face of these sort of things. So, I mean, yeah, talk about tango transporting you. Maybe I'm a little bit extending what um, Hector said in the in the video a little bit, but I mean, it kind of made me um, flash out. <laughs> the cars were actually coming in through my feet and that's like um maybe it sounds like a bolis or a, 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 a nonsense thing but like really um i began to think wow how much do i actually neglect my actual body right i mean uh i'm i'm trying to improve my tango here i'm trying to be a dancer i'm trying to use my body to express certain things but then like i'm not even processing the actual word the actual world with my actual body so usually something comes in here like you know i you arrive somewhere or or i hear something or i see a show and it comes through here or or for tango i receive the lead through here and i feel like i first send it here process it and then i send it out to the body so i'm not actually really perceiving um things with my body um, this respiración emotiva also made me find a certain um harmony in my body and so the word harmony i mean that's something that i see in certain people and it's just a quality that um that i'm not really sure uh, what's what what it is but um it's, it's usually when people see it, it it's recognizable it's like universally and intu intuitively recognizable so anyways the about harmony ties into an idea that um, i want to mention that um corina de la rosa has said Like if you pull this part, like the rest of it also leave is that you know the shoulder move, the rest of the body adjusts. Like maybe only very little down there, but a, a, a little bit. Like the idea is not to block everything and have only one part move. Corina walk. She's like everything goes. You know everything. <laughs> And the body becomes a sacred garment, which is yours first, and it is your last garment. And as such, it should be treated with honor, and with joy, and with fear, too, but always with blessing. So, um, yeah, so that's where I want to get to today. It's a little bit philosophical, um, but I think it's nice to go through that process and allow um, oneself to have that moment and give permission to, to take these things seriously and, and to give them the, the necessary time and the necessary attention.